In the news today bandits interrupt post-mortem examination to rob dead's relatives Region 4 police are hunting three men who reportedly interrupted a post-mortem examination that was being conducted yesterday at the Memorial Gardens in the Le Repentier Cemetery, Georgetown, so that they could rob the relatives. A police report identified the relatives as a 24-year-old female vendor and a driver, age 34. The two victims were robbed by the three men reportedly armed with a gun around 8.30 a.m. Armed bandits dressed in military uniform robbed shop in Strathspey, East Coast Demerara on Thursday night. Essequibo man beaten after attempted rape of Tina Mann, described by police as being of unsound mind, is now patient under guard at the Sutty Public Hospital in Region 2 after he was beaten by residents of Adventure, Region 2, who caught him trying to rape a young girl. The incident occurred around 4.30 p.m. on Thursday, when the man is alleged to have attacked a 13-year-old girl. The girl was attacked by the man while she was making her way to a supermarket. However, residents were alerted and they intervened. MP hits 12-year-old, drove away, police silent 12-year-old Randy Boudram of No. 2 Village, East Kanjaber Bees, is now hospitalized following an accident at No. 2 Village, East Kanjaber Bees. The child was allegedly hit by a serving member of parliament. According to reports, the child lived with other children and a relative was on a bridge when they saw the politician swaying and coming. He eventually slammed into the child and drove away without rendering assistance. If this member of parliament still has a job after this something is truly wrong with Guyanese in a whole.